All right, who's ready to hit the beach again? Well, much prettier today, as you can see, a nice blue sky up there. I like it. Much better than yesterday. It was uh, very cloudy and kind of gray and all, but today we got some good weather. Let's get some gold. The fever's going up. Well, only two cents so far, but we do have a nice 29 right here. So we are getting a couple targets off this week. I don't hit this beach very often, and maybe other people don't hit quite as often as they do some of my main beaches at the, at the ocean. Huh? Let's see what we got here. All right, I think we might have it. Yep, we got it. All right, let's see what we got here. Yep, yeah, that's a quarter. All right, not bad. Let's keep getting up. All right, we got a little bit of a strange number here. 28, well, 29, 15, 30, 26. That's nah, probably gonna be a quarter. But it's be a deep quarter, because it's a really, really, really weak signal. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do here. I know it's gonna be still down in there. Take two feet out. Just try to go as deep as I can, because it's filling in fast as I dig it. Nothing there. This give me a little bit of an iron hit too. Dropping a little bit, so ah. might have got it at the time. Maybe I think we got it. It's 25 26, so it's a dime. I see it. It was jumping around kind of strange, but it's been doing that lately. I think maybe that new uh, upgrade kind of changed the numbers just a little bit. All right, let's keep it. All right, we got a special guest today, Gary from New York. He's down visiting some family in the area. He just wanted to come out and do a little hunting. And uh, he's here. Are you ready to find some good stuff? Oh, I'm ready, ready to go. All right, I've already got 74 cents, an okay. earring, and a sinker. You got to okay. catch up with me. I got a bottle cap so far. <laughs> the Gary is known as the King of Clad, right? That's it, up in New York. Well, you got to hold your title, man. That's it. I got to get out and do it. Gary actually brought me a little something here. He's got a truck. It's got Russian writing on it. My grandson speaks Russian, and we're gonna give that to him right there. Pretty cool. Thanks, Gary. You're welcome. Appreciate My it. pleasure. All right, I got gold fever, man. Let's do uh, it. Yeah, let's go. All right, here we go. Now, Gary does have a nice looking sweatshirt on here. That's a nice looking gear. Gig Master Adventure awaits. And I just want to let y'all know I do have a link down in my video description. Uh, Teespring. You'll see it down there. If you're interested in any Gig Master merchandise, check it out. All right, it looks like we got a six. Seven here, real light, so it could just be a piece of copper, but that's a good gold number. Right here. Nice gold earring would be nice, wouldn't it? Let's see if we got, let's see if we got Oh, we do have it. Nice. Oh, and I see something in the, in the sand there. I don't know where it is yet. It's shining there. Oh, man, it's a rivet. Holy fuck. All right, let's keep getting up. All right, I got a nice 12 number. I should record it. Check it out. We definitely have something here. It's white metal, though, so it could be junk, could be gold, could be sterling. Who knows? Nice shininess on it, that's for sure. Let's look at the back, see if we see anything. Don't see any writing on it, but it looks really nice. I mean, you could use that tomorrow. Clean that up. All right, Miss Gigmaster might like that. All right, we'll clean it up and check it out when we get home. Might have something on it. More shininess in the sand. It was ringing a 10. So that could be gold at that number. But looking at it, it's got a lot of other metal in it. So I'm thinking that extra high number is, is probably the other metal in it. Looks like I see a little tarnish on it right there. Oh, that's cool. It's like a little shell. That's pretty. I will clean it up. Check it out. Close it out. Stick to me. All right. Looks like we got another low number. I'm wearing here. Here it is. Nine. Nine. Now I'm not getting it back. Real tight signal here. Real tight. Check it out. Alright. Might have got it. Might, might be something small. Yeah, it's not going to be very big. I see it right there. And it's a bottle cap. Man, I tell you, them bottle caps will get... No, it's not. Wait a minute. Let's see. Yeah, it's a bottle... No, it's not a bottle cap. That is actually some kind of stainless steel piece or something. Anything round like that with a hole in it will give you a good signal action. All right, let's keep digging. All right, before the last wave came up and covered it back up, 
I saw some green down here in the sand. Where did it go though? There it is, isn't it? No? Yeah. No, I know that way wasn't strong enough to take it out. Oh, there it is. It's green. But I can see right now it's an earring. I think it's a clip on earring. Not gold for sure, but it's kind of cool though. We'll check it out. I'm not sure what that symbol is right there, but hey, I love it finding stuff. Got a little, little stone right there too, it looks like. Awesome. All right, we'll clean up check that clothes out. Don't you just love watching military might? I love it, man. That shows we're protected right there. I like it. Thank you, David. All right, we're up here at our old volleyball thing here, and I think I just dug a cross. It is a cross. Could it be silver? Oh, I think it could be silver. I see some markings in it. Holy smoke. Then that is a good find there. Well, maybe that's not markings. I don't know. All right, stay tuned. We'll clean it up and check out when we get home. I like it, though. So far, 13 cents. A battery, a, 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 a AA battery, uh, some screws. My wife always says I had to screw loose, but I finally yeah, found them. Now you them. Made, made sure of it now. That's it. <laughs> All right, and a tent peg. And a tent peg. We're digging uh, one, two, three, four earrings, and I, what I think is a cross here, and about a dollar thirty in chain so far. So we're not finished yet, though. Let's see if we can't find some gold. That's what I'm looking for. Stay tuned. I got a pretty strong penny reading right here, and um, Gary says he wasn't getting anything. So he couldn't get a reading on it. He's using a white V3I. V3I. And uh, interesting, he couldn't get a reading because it didn't seem that deep to me at the time. But uh, just out of curiosity, we'll see. Get the penny reading now. It is getting it now. Now he's got it out of the ground, he says he's getting a penny reading. But before, uh, he wasn't getting anything. Oh, man. What you got, man? You got yourself a penny. Now you got it. Keep it on that. I just want to do a little quick test there. That's good, though. I'm, I can't believe that thing did not get a read on it, and I would get a real strong read. All right, let's keep digging. Here we go. All right, Gary and I travel to the next beach. Gary's taking a little break. He'll be here in a minute. But I want to explain one thing to you. Uh, the tides. Um, on my tide chart, it will tell you, like, it's a minus 0.5 or a plus 0.5. What that means is uh, it's talking about a foot. 0.5 of a foot would be 6 inches, right? So it might be 6 inches above normal or 6 inches below normal, and that makes a huge difference. Uh, if it sometimes be like a foot below normal. I mean, normally where it's 6 inches at a normal low tide, it'll be dry. So it could actually go out a long way. I'll show you in just a second how far it's dry right now because today we got a minus 0.38. I don't know what that is, maybe 5 inches, you know, close to that, whatever. But uh, it makes a big difference. So we better get a little further with just my boots on today. So let's go ahead and check it out. Here we go. Now on a normal low tide, this area right here might have water staying in it. Six inches deep, half a foot deep. But look at it, high and dry. So we can actually get a little bit further than we normally would. Uh, the shoreline right here to my right here was really, really soft. Like it's been, sand's been put up in there. So I'm gonna head to another area that doesn't have that really soft sand. Okay, do y'all remember what these are? I've showed them on multiple videos before. Anybody know? Conk eggs. That's right. And there's most time they're full of them, but you know what? I think they actually got out of these. I don't feel any in them. A lot of times you feel tons of them, but these may have hatched and actually got out some kind of way. I'm not sure how that works. But yeah, they're empty. Most time they're full. Alright, let's keep digging. I only have a couple coins for me. How about you, Gary? Nothing. A dime. A dime. Okay, I had, I had three coins. So that's not enough for me. Let's move on to the next beach. Here we go. All right, everybody. This is amazing. This is only the second time I've ever seen one of these fish wash up on the shore. Does anybody know what it is? That is a sturgeon. Is that cool or what? That thing goes back to prehistoric times to the dinosaurs. He was alive during the dinosaur times. Look at the plating on this guy's back. Bony plating all over it. He, he would cut you up if you could swim by you probably. This thing is a tough fish. Uh, Y'all saw one video where I actually um, worked with the guys. They actually installed transmitters in these fish to track them. To see uh, where they go. And they'll track them up. They get little receiving stations along shorelines and all. 
and they track these guys. They go south, north, all over the place and come up and spawn in one of the rivers uh, up here. So uh, back in the old days, they were real plentiful back during uh, Jamestown days. And um, they actually found a bunch of these plates in Jamestown where they had been eating these guys and all. So pretty cool fish right there. We won't, we won't never see another one maybe. That is awesome right there. Sweet. All right, we're going to continue to hit the beach a little bit longer, but Gary says he's got to head out. Uh, right. It's been a great day. It's been a good day. Gary, great seeing you, Steve. Same, same here, brother. We'll, be do, we'll do it again one day. Oh, definitely. All right, well, wish Gary a safe trip back to New York. Thank you. And uh, we'll hit the beach a little bit longer. Stay tuned. All right, I think this beach has been pounded. It does get hit a whole lot. We're going to move to one more beach and, uh, that I know does not get pounded and give it one last try for the end of the day. Stay tuned, here we go. Hi, I've already dug four coins, and this is a super light number. But it bounced up there around 30, but it's super, super light, so it's down at, I would have to guess at least a foot. So I'm gonna really try to dig down as much as I can on this first scoop. But I guarantee you, it's, it's a foot down. Let's see if there's no way to go out that fast. I'm not hardly getting the target anymore. I know it's down there deep, deep. All right, that's a pretty good deep hit. I know we got it. All right, see what we got here. Definitely more coins on this beach than the last beach. It says two beaches already. Let's see where we at here. There it is. Yep, that's a quarter. That's a second one right here, close to each other. So we're doing better on this beach. We did it on any of them. All right, let's keep digging. All right, we got to name this beach Quarter Beach. Three in a row. I like it. This is not quite as deep as that last one either, which I like. Let's see what we got here. Probably got this one already. Yeah, we did. I like that. I can tell when that leaked. Yep, there it is. Third one right here. Wow. All right, we're going to up with a little bit of clad. Stay tuned. Number four in a row in the sights right here. Four in a row. I like it. Quarter Beach. For sure. Yep. And I see it. Number four in the bag. Well, I still have thousands of these little things are all over the beach, man. He's got ready. He's ready to swim, get into the sand, and dig a hole. Got ready to watch him. Watch this guy, man. He will dig a hole so fast you won't believe it. Once the water comes up, oh, there he Wait, watch him. There he is. He's in the, he's down. He is down. Get him out here again. All right, as soon as the water hits him, he will be in the water again. He would dig that hole so fast you won't believe it. All right, let's see if we can get a little bit of water to come up here. There you go. Go for it. There he goes. And he's gone for good now. He just keeps digging and digging. He's down in there now. Bam. All right, let's keep digging. Here we go. Well, this is a pretty good find right here. This is what's called a stretch 25. And it looks like it's actually in pretty good shape. That's good for catching rockfish with. Man, we're gonna save that up. That's in really good shape. Get all the uh, seaweed off of it and we'll be good. Yeah, it's gonna come off. It's gonna come out nice and clean. I like it. The hooks even look good on it. Man, that's a treasure there. All right, we're going to bag it up. I will call that a wrap. This was Clad Beach here. We did pretty good here. Better at this beach than any of them. So uh, let's get home and tally up all our uh, clad and look at a couple other things we got. But I tell you what, I really enjoyed that sturgeon. I hope you all enjoyed that. We'll show some more pictures at the end of the video too. Talk about it a little bit. Stay tuned. Well, we had a great adventure today. Uh, Gary came down from New York and joined us for a little while. But, but Gary, you call yourself the king of clad now. You're going to have to tighten up on the next time if you want me to keep that title. Gary had a rough day today on finding anything. So next time, right? All right, I'm looking for it. All right, well, we did pretty good today, actually. Um, I really enjoyed seeing that sturgeon. You know how much I enjoyed that thing. That thing is cool. I'm going to put some pictures at the end here. And uh, we did find some diamonds today. That's right, real diamonds. Let's check it out. All right, first, um, Gary did bring me this truck. It's got some Russian writing on it. He knew my grandson 
was uh, spoke, spoke Russian, so he's gonna, I'm going to give that to him. Uh, we did find this right here is a stretch 25. I bet, I don't know how much it costs, but look them up. They are pretty expensive. And then a, I think it's called a Hopkins rig there. Just needs a hook on it. So the rest of it looks like new, so that's going to be a good one. I definitely saved that right there. A couple pieces of uh, gray matter. And we got some, a little bit of trash in here. Not too bad, but a little bit of trash. About $3 in clad, which is not bad. We'll take that. Uh, that last beach was the, was definitely saved me. I got probably a dollar thirty that last beach so if i hadn't hit that last beach i wouldn't have been looking as good as that anyway so anyway we did get a few um earrings today that was actually together i think before i broke it that there and then this is kind of neat right here it has a stone on it and a shell but it's junk but it's kind of neat looking uh this i thought could be stolen but it's not uh i can see some stuff coming through. It probably could be cleaned up and used though now, i'm not sure if that was an earring i think that was a probably earring uh, same thing with this. There's a clip-on earring. It's pretty much junk there. But this is my main find today. Sterling silver. I buffed it out. As I was buffing it out, I didn't even notice it when I found it. I knew it looked funny, but I didn't, couldn't tell. My eyes, you know, my eyesight. It's got three stones in it right there. I said, daggone, aren't they real? And I did test them, and they are real. We have real diamonds on that thing right there. That's pretty cool. I had no clue, but sometimes they do put real diamonds in sterling, and I'll put a picture up there on the back. You can see the 925 right there. Not a bad little find right there. I like that. That's pretty. But anyway, we did pretty good there today. I liked it. Uh, we um, we hit, what, one, two, three, like four beaches. Ended up with about four beaches, but uh, uh, none of them were great, great, but the last one did good on the, um, the first one did good on the earrings. I think I got all the earrings at that, that first one, and uh silver and then the last one was good on the uh clad other than that though man they weren't hitting on much but we had a great time out it's definitely good weather and uh, the sturgeon was my highlight for me anyway all right i appreciate everybody coming along don't forget to click like comment below share subscribe to the gig master i got some good stuff coming up stay tuned